What's up, guys? Welcome back to the 12 games of Christmas. Before in game 7, I believe, we're playing Super Mario All-Stars, but specifically Super Mario 3, which is on the Super Nintendo. It's a game within a game within a game. This is crazy. This is the um utmost of 12 games of Christmas you could possibly play. And these mushrooms do be looking kind of droopy, though. These, oh, I love the graphics. It looks so cute and amazing. I think I've played some Mario 3s before, but and not very many times due to it being one of those games that doesn't really save your progress. At least, um, the m modes I've played, which are not on Super All-Stars. I've played on the other ones, so maybe it's different like this. I do not know. I just died to a Goomba, and I just hit a Paragoomba, and I died in a hole. So that's why you don't take out Rage's jumps. Okay, so Kev X36 is starting. He just killed the Goomba. He's coming in with uh, a couple question blocks. Got the mushroom. Good for him. I don't. Okay, so he went back for the coin, trying to avoid this piranha plant. He jumps over it. It's spitting fire, which is pretty odd for a piranha plant. He's coming on. He hit that Koopa Troopa. Now he's picked up the shell, and now he hit that. I didn't know there was a Tanuki leaf in there. I didn't know you could even get it like that. He's hit um one of these two Goombas. Now he hit the Paragoomba. No, the Paragoomba hit him. He got those coins. Now he's coming down with the flying Koopa Troopas. Oh my gosh, he hits this. He gets the Tanuki Leaf again. What's this? He jumps over it. Now he's going to jump over another jump. Can he do it? Yes, and he lands it. Now there's just another couple more Piranha Plants that are spinning up fire. He loses the Tanuki Leaf, but he still has the Mushroom Power. He goes in. He's jumping a bit. He's walking. He's going backward. Now he goes through the pipe. No, he doesn't go through the pipe. And then... He completes... What? What is he doing? What? I'm so confused. He completes the level. That's all that happens. Okay, so it is my turn to start the match. I'm going to go see if I can walk through this pipeline. Looks like I can't, so we're just going to run down. Can I get the mushroom? Can I get the mushroom? I get the mushroom. Now I have to jump. Oh, now I, and I lost the mushroom. How am I supposed to jump like this? This is like the Sonic game where I couldn't do the jumping. Bro, is my sensitivity off? Maybe that's what it is because I cannot land these jumps. There we go. We landed the jump. Just a bit of concentration over the Paragoomba. Can we go down this pipe? Probably. Why? We can't go down the pipe. I don't know. I think he's trying to point to something, but we're not going to go to it because it was too hard. There we go. Hit the sing block. Never mind. But we. St oh, let's go. We got the mushroom. Take a long jump. And, and I lost it. I'm really just speedrunning. Ah, that's why you don't speedrun Mario. Okay, so we're at Kevx36's second turn. He's jumped. He lost his mushroom abilities, but he came back to get the mushroom again. Now he's landed the jump. He's speedrunning in it. I'm clapping, I don't know why, but you know, I'm just clapping to be nice. It's nice, it makes it more interesting for me. I'm not sure what his pointer's doing, but like, there he is. He's trying to dodge these Goombas. He comes around, gets the jump, gets the mushroom over the Goombas, or over the Piranha Plant, over on top of the music notes. Now, no, and he falls in the hole. Okay, so I'm coming around with this level. Or whatever time of trying to complete this level. I get the mushroom. Let's go. Again, this is Super Mario 3. I think I mentioned that earlier. Boom. I don't think I can do it. I'm not sure what he's trying to tell me there, but looks like I can't do it. So we're just going to come around. You know, I'm not going to go for the music note thing. Why would I jump? That was so not smart. There we go. I did. I nailed the jump, and I died right away. Kevx36 is running around, trying to maintain a spot, or just win, and then he dies. Okay, I'm gonna only gonna try one more time, and I'll let Kevx36 try it. I'm only gonna try one more time, and I th and because like we've been taking this level way too long, and so I'm just gonna like. You know, I'll just quit because, like, we couldn't pass the second level, I guess. But, like, you know, and I just died to a Paragoomba. But, you know, I'm not going to try and go down through because of that because I already knew I can't do that. We're just going to speed run this, you know, as best as we can. 
Um, I know you're not supposed to speedrun Mario, but I want to because I am too impatient to wait. And there we go. We dodged the fire. That was that was almost a death, but it wasn't. I'm just going to keep running. I don't care about, like, all these other things. Here we go. We're actually kind of speedrunning this. This is what you do when, you know, it's your last chance. And we did it, guys. We completed the level. I'm going to give Kevx36 a chance to beat the next one. So the question is, can Kevx36 beat the third level? If not, I will try again. And then I, because I was saying, I know I was calling it quits, but that's because I was calling quits on that level. But we beat that level, so now we're on the third level. But I'm going to give Kevx36 a chance at this, and then I'll go back on try and beat this level. If he doesn't beat it, if he does, then I'll just try and beat level four. And uh, yeah, so remember, whenever the video ends, it will be Kevx36 as the last turn because um, he started last or because he started after me, because he is uh, Luigi right now, He's he wanted to be, so, um, and I'm Mario, so that's just how it works, and games like that, anyways, he does a couple jumps, he, um, and there's these very colorful, this game, I have to admit, I have played this before, but not very many times, but I definitely do know what I'm talking about, um, a little, at least not very much, but I do know roughly kind of what's up, um, here we go, He's ducking. I, what are those? Are those like baby Goombas? What? I've never seen those before in my life. And he beats the level. So I'm going to go play level four. And then from there, we'll see what happens. And that'll probably be the last end of the video. Okay, so I have to pick a box. I'm going to let him do the next thing. Okay, so I got a mushroom. I'm going to let him do the next thing. That's it. Never mind. It wants me to play again. It's actually my turn. Wait, that was mm, that was not a good idea. He chose to skip the level, and now he's going to get some interesting combination thing. Get some mushroom, and now he just has to, I think, get the last piece, but he doesn't get it. He's playing a castle. I'm not sure if it's a boss level or just what it is, but it is a castle. Jumping over some lava bubbles right here, we see it's a nice rock thing. I'm not sure what... This is definitely not Bowser's castle, of course, but it is a castle. Not really sure. I feel like... I don't know... I feel like I've been the familiarity of doing the course, but I don't actually remember playing this mode. Maybe someone else did, and I was there, though. I, what is that weird glitching thing? What are these? Bro, I've never seen that before. Um, there's the lava bubbles. Man, what is this? Ah, oh, he just died. Okay. He got the mushroom, though. No, he doesn't. It fell in the lava. That's a dry bones. He jumps over. Wait, is this actually a boss level? Because he has to go through the door. Yo, that's so trippy. That's probably so hard. How is he going to survive that? Wait, it doesn't smash down? What? Oh, and he dies. That's the end of the video, guys. So goodbye for now. Yo, yo, I'm the yo bro. Better subscribe because I got good vibes. I do great mocks and I do great toasts. Don't forget that I do lots more. Now you know. Well, uh oh, you should be subscribed to the yo bro.